המחשב, אוקיי. אוקיי. But yes, Lomar, so we, what do we explain? That the judges are there to tell the people and teach the people what it says in the Torah. And in the future, it won't be necessary to have policemen because everyone will automatically want to do what's best. Huh? Just like a normal person today, he doesn't want to do things that harm himself. But a normal person won't take drugs and won't smoke and won't get addicted and won't do things that are harmful. <clears throat> so in the future, people naturally won't do anything that will separate them from the Creator. Uh, won't. Okay, so therefore, it won't have a necessity for shotrim, for judges, for, for, for policemen, for policemen. We can say, this is also hinted in the name of this week's Torah portion, which this week's Torah portion is called Shoftim Judges. <clears throat> this parsha, the, 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 the Jewish people gave the name to this week's Torah portion, which is Parsha Shoftim. It's not called Shoftim, but Shoftim. Do you do it like it's not that the name of a thing, <clears throat> this expresses the nature of the thing. Similarly, also regarding to the name of the Torah portions that are called, they are <clears throat> very, very exact. <clears throat> so if so, th this, this Torah portion is called Shotrim, it's called, I'm saying it's called Shoftim. Why Shoftim? Because judges, and judges, that's the main thing. Judges is the main thing. And the policemen, that's a secondary thing. If people don't listen to the judges, then we're gonna have to make policemen. But if they do, then there wouldn't be necessary for policemen. And that's hinted at, but that in all the Judaism, this week's Torah portion is called Shoftim. It's not called Shoftim, it's Shoftim. It's called Judges. Look here at first glance. How is this? How is the name of this week's Torah portion Shoftim with the mitzvah Shetochno Hu Lechior Shoftim Shoftim? Just one second. There is a commandment in the Torah to appoint judges and policemen. That's the commandment that's clearly stated in this week's Torah portion. There's a commandment to appoint policemen. It says in the Midrash, If there's no police, then there's no judge. As soon as a person will be found guilty in one Torah court, if there's no policeman, they can take the money from him. And as soon as he goes away from the courthouse, the judge has no power to do anything. Unless he gives him to a policeman. The explanation is, Inyan has showed him the whole idea of policemen who rock siyua l'shoftim. So that there's a commandment in the Torah to make judges and policemen. How can we say that there's going to be a day when there's not going to be any policemen? How can it be such a thing? It's a commandment in the Torah. Says the Rebbe, I'll tell you. Policemen are there only to help. She'im ha'shofet, if the judge Enu Yochal is not able, Levatseya, to actually carry out the judgment. Tzarech Hashotim, then you have to have policemen. Bali Makel Beretzua, people that have a staff or a whip or whatever. Sheachrichu et Bali Din, they can force the litigants, Sheachabal, Alav, Adin, Beshofet, the decision of the Judge, look, and therefore, Nikro is the parsha. Therefore, this week's Torah portion is called Shofti, and that's why everybody calls it only judges, because the real main thing is only the judges. Mina Shotrim, ch choosing policemen, is not a commandment in itself. It's not one of the 613 commandments. 
Elahu Nichlal, it is a part of the mitzvah of Mine Ashoftim. Kevin sins, she inyan ashotrim was a prad binyan ashoftim. Because this whole idea of policemen is just one detail of the judges. In order to, to bring about, <clears throat> to actually bring about the fulfillment of the judge, of the just of the of the the, 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 the decision. <laughs> which the judges made. It's not a necessary thing that you have to have policemen that sit around and do nothing. Right? That's the job of a policeman. If no one does anything wrong. You see, everyone's doing it. You have to have a policeman. The law showed to him that he can do without any kashera, matzav, zaman, who, katikona, if things go properly. Then you won't need this. And this the commandment of the Torah says that you have to have policemen. This is because this is a commandment for all the generations of the desert or all of the times that it happened to be that there were people that were bad. So therefore, Siva, there had to be a commandment for judges. But much of Shanidra Shikablu, that the judges will have to, the, 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 the judges' uh, the, uh, decisions will actually be carried out. So there has to be a policeman. And therefore, it says in the Midrash, it means shoter and shofit. There it says, it says, if there's no policeman, there can't be any judges. <clears throat> the judges can sit up there all day and tell people what to do. And everyone says, okay, your honor, yes, your honor. He goes outside and he just tears the thing up and throws it in the garbage. He says, um, right, he says, but the judges said, you owed me $10,000. He says, make me, make me. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to give it. All of a sudden, stops up a, a policeman and says, what did you say? He said, I, I, well, I said, I'm paying. Uh, that's what I said. I said, I, you know, the, 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 make me a, the, a, a, a coffee. Because um, I just want to have, uh, you know, uh, what I really meant is I'm going to pay. As soon as he sees the policeman, he's different. And it says in the future, ideally, it should be that people don't need it, anyone to force them. They won't think opposite of what the judge says. Therefore, Lola Dina, therefore, policemen are not necessary as a separate commandment. Only just the thing should be done. Shiitaka and Shabalo showed to him that it could be in such a situation that there could be that without policemen, what the judge says won't be done. So now we can understand why in the future there's going to be advisors. Why? Because the com total completion of everything is, and the redemption will be that the Jewish people will want to do what God wants. They'll want to do what the judge says, but they'll want to do it in the best way. They'll have to, that, that's why there's going to be advisors to teach us how to do things the best way. And that we're going to talk about God willing more tomorrow. But we can see from this that the whole idea of the Mashiach <clears throat> is that people's minds will change. People's human nature will change. People will be more <clears throat> inclined to do what they understand and not just what they feel. They'll be willing to listen to reason. And Torah is the ultimate reason. That's why it says that all the religions will be dropped, that everyone will realize that their religions, all of them are lies. They provide certain comforts to people, but they're not what they claim to be, the truth, the ultimate you know, reality and God's will and things like that. People will re re realize this and they won't have to be enforced. There won't have to be wars and things like that. As we'll talk about more God willing tomorrow. Now let's do the yom yom.